Mimi naitwa Brayo. Sasa mimi hufanya kazi ya garbage. Kuna penye huwa tunazungua kila nyumba kwa maestro huko Karanja. Hapa tufanya kila every Monday, huko fanya Thursday. Sasa si uzunguka tu tukitoa. Hapo mbeleni kulikuwa kuchafu sana. But squeeze kwa at least. Naitwa Samuel Chege na mufanya kazi usafi. Arizika nilisikia through rafiki yangu. Alini introduce nikaanza hapo. Rizik Kenya is a community development organization. The founders were motivated or rather inspired to feed the hungry. Riziki has trained young people to look at garbage collection as a means of livelihood because there's a need for garbage collection. There are a number of youth groups, about four, who are earning a living through that process. In a day, we got 20 bob. Come on, what's my day? 20 bob. Now to start, now to come up, come up, per month, per month, per month, we're going to make. Asante, asante, sinu asafi, juu tunajit, tunajit, riziki safi. Ata kuna njia ndaka tunendelea tu na kutoka kutoka kitambo. Pade, nesa pata 400, ama 500. So it is a apple. Bala kusema watu kwenda kujiunga kikundi mbaya, tunawana tu ni jeke busy. Nyone tu hivyo nukule kidobe nye hiko. Mini tuwa Yujin Kangwana Mumanyi, nasoma Nyambari High School, nikuwa na 16 years. Nili join 2018, ya nikuwa na 368. Our mission is about providing an enabling environment so that Nindi and vulnerable children can grow holistically. The first approach is to provide basic needs. So we provide them with the education whenever opportunities are available through scholarships. Huyo mtoto wakati alifanya mutiani, alipita visuri. Sasa nilichanganyikiwa uchuku kuna ndugu yake mwingine. Na ya alikuwa shule. Sasa ikawa ni vigumu hata nilikuwa na sindo bila ataenda shule. Ndio nilimpeleka shule lakini alikuwa anafukuzwa kila siku. Mpaka siku ile nilikuja kufanikiwa kupata usaidizi kutoka kwa KCDF kupitia kwa Elisiki. At first hadi nilikuwa nafukuzwa shule, but after kupata scholarship hivyo, nijaje fukuzwa shule. KCDF and Riziki have a partnership around uh, Mwangazapo which is about providing clean and renewable energy sources to communities in informal settlements actually in this play, in this case working in Kibera slums Naitwa Ruto Wendi naishi Kambi Muru Kibera nafanya kasi ya casual Niko na watoto wawili na kiagiva mtoto mmoja Riziki wamenisaidia pale pakubwa kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe niko na shida ya kifua sitakani kukaa kwa moshi sana nilikuwa natumia jiko hiyo jiko inabidi nipike mapema ili niweke nje kwa sababu ya hiyo hii room niko nayo ni ndogo so nina appreciate kwa sababu walinipatia gas gas ninatumia sioni shida ile nilikuwa nayo at nakimbia hospitali kifua na kohoa hata huyo msichana wangu ninaona tu pamoja na familia yangu tuko sawa naitwa Faith Mbone nasoma a Lady of Mercy yenye iko shauri moyo niko na 15 years Beja tulipewa gas maisha ilikujika change kwa sababu hiyo unatu, unatumia tu hakuna venye itakusumbua hivyo kimakai na inaleta moshi kwa nyumba hapa na ilikuwa tu hivyo sawa Mimi naitwa Amina Hussein Juma na fanya kibarua ya ni house help natoka Kibra Kamimuru village tulikuwa tunatumia koroboi na koroboi inatumia mafuta taa tukakuja kubarikiwa tukapata watu watu ambao wametoka riziki tukajitengeza kwa kikundi wakatusaidia wakatuletea madilates zile ambazo zinatumia miali ya jua our second approach is to empower the caregivers so that they can pro provide a better environment for the growth of these children and that is where monga support comes in So wakati tulikuwa tukiendelea nao wakakuja wakaintroduce eh, delight hiyo delight ikakuja ikatutoa kwa traditional lamp hiyo inatoa moshi ukilight so inapata kama 
pa wiki inabidi nikimbie hospitali kwa sababu ya kifua kuja one of the findings was that so many children were having challenges with their homeworks they were having challenges uh, in school and uh, when we dug deeper the issue was pointing to the use of kerosene kabla tupate solar lamp tulikuwa tunatumia hiyo ta kawaida ilikuwa ngumu sana ka for example hiyo mafuta imeisha hivyo tundo homa kinaisha hapo naenda shule azinisha na ku anakuuliza homa yake iko wapi hakuna venye unaweza mu explain ya juu ta ilikuwa imeisha mafuta so, niko na watoto wa watatu kulingana na hali ya kifedha nalazimika kukaa na watoto wangu kwa hii room moja kuna stima lakini stima nayo hii kwa gari sana alafu tena sa mara mingi sio stima bai iko permanent nikapata msamaria mwema akaniingiza katika e, risiki Kenya na nikakuwa memba huko walikuja wakaleta hii system ya sora nikaona ni ni vyema ni charibu ni mwe moja nione vile na inaka wa delight uh, tulikuwa tunalipa kidogo kidogo yani tunalipa installment kama yule ambaye anataka cash unaweza lipa shilingi 2500 lakini ukiwa unalipa kidogo kidogo hiyo ni 1300 and uh, some of them are able to sell them on and so they are able to earn an income my neighbors wakati waliona nikiwa na delight walifurahishwa so pia walitaka niwaende niwachukulie so huwa na wachukulia na waletea hii na wasaidia pia pesa ambazo nilikuwa nanunua naye mafuta taa kwa size tumeanza ku save naweza lipia watoto shule naweza nunua kitu ambaye nataka ndani ya nyumba eh, kutoka nipate delight inaona at least na save kwa siku naweza save 300 grades zangu zilimprove sana venye nilikuwa natumia hiyo solar lamp naweza fanya revision kabla do light iko kabla hizi solar lamp za kuja let's say nilikuwa napata kitu kama 200 but so after hiyo kukuja i can encourage kusoma kwa bele time ifika class 8 nilikuwa napata ma 350 370 kwa nambele mimi naona na is future cause me i decide to be a doctor kama say surgeon hivi as kcdf we are very deliberate about changing the narrative of the poor and changing the whole idea of international development we believe very strongly that for development to be sustainable it has to be driven by the community that is feeling the pain if external funding comes in it comes to support what they are doing <laughs>